Okay, AP Calc is AV now. I know this says unit five, day five, but I think we're going to call it more like day nine because I've waited until now to give it to you. Um, so we'll call it, and, and there was kind of like no day five. So we're going to call this uh, unit five, day five, war, uh, day nine warm up. And the same say will be uh, worksheet uh, five, nine if we haven't done it yet or whatever. Okay, so try these three problems. Um, getting really close to our test. So some good uh, review for our test. Find the slope of the tangent line. I find the x coordinates for the horizontal tangents to that graph. And derivative of that graph. So all, all relevant things from this chapter. So uh, pause the video and try all three. And then unpause it and we'll go over it. See how you did. Okay, if we want the slope of the tangent line, then that means we need to take the derivative, and derivative sine, uh, cosine is negative sine. Now leave the 2x inside and then multiply by 2 afterwards. So this is a chain rule problem. In fact, all these are chain rule problems. So hopefully you didn't miss the chain rule. So negative 2 sine 2x is a little nicer version of it. And then we're going to plug pi over 4 in. And we're going to get negative 2 <coughs> sine of pi over 2, which is 1, so we get negative 2 for the slope of the tangent line. Now let's pretend that they asked for the equation of the tangent line. All right, what else would we do if they asked for that? Well, we would do that, but then we would also need the y value. We need x, y pair. So we plug pi over 4 in to 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2, which is 0. So the x, y pair would be pi over 4, 0. <clears throat> and then be y minus 0 equals negative 2 times x minus pi over 4. And this would be totally fine as the equation. Or you could change it to y equals negative 2 x plus pi over 2 if you want. Uh, but if you make a mistake, you lose points. Yeah, you might have got full credit for it already. So, Normal line, by the way, uh, you would do the negative reciprocal of this. It'd be positive one half slope. You could you would use the same point for the equation line, but use that other slope of positive one half and for normal. <coughs> it'd be one half. Okay. Find the x coordinate of the horizontal tangent. So that's when the when the tangent is flat, which means its slope is zero. So we find it by taking the derivative. This has a chain rule and setting equal to zero. So then we're going to solve for the trig. Uh, subtract one, divide by negative two is one half. Alpha is, and I'm going to add another question to this, by the way, in a second. So after you finish this, I'm going to ask where the relative max is missed. <clears throat> so alpha is, well, cosine is one, root three, two, root two, two, one half. So zero, pi over six, pi over four, pi over three. Quadrants, one and four is where it's positive. So 2x equals uh, pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. And we usually get two answers, but this extra 2 on the inside is going to cut the period in half. So we should get double the answers we usually get. We should get four answers. 2x equals uh, 5 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. So we're going to divide by 2. And we're going to x equals pi over 6 plus pi k. And x equals 5 pi over 6 plus pi k. And the horizontal tangents are at pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, because it'd be 6 pi over 6, and 5 pi over 6, and 11 pi over 6. Bonus question. <clears throat> Which are relative maxes or mins. Best way to find this is to find the horizontal changes first, critical points, um, and to do a line check. We can use the first derivative test. Uh, line check is a good way to do it. So uh, pi over 6, you want them over left, right, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, Mark the boundaries because there are more. Keep going. Test a value. 
I love zero. So in the derivative, in the derivative, label your line check, y prime, cosine of zero is one times two, it's gonna be negative. So negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Now I draw these little slopes down, up, down, up, down. I even like to write decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing. This is a relative min. This is a relative max. This is a relative min. This is a relative max. And you can tell it's going down and up. That's the bottom. That's got to be a min. It's going up and down. You had to be at the top of something. Look, you can see it. Down and up, bottom, up and down, top. So we could say uh, that there's a relative max at x equals 5 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. And we could say there's a relative minimum at, that's a key word, is at, x equals pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. We're just finding the locations. Now we could find the relative maximum values by plugging these into the original y equation to get the y coordinates. That those would be the relative maximum values. But they often don't ask for that, so I wouldn't just automatically do that. <clears throat> Absolute maximum is I always find the, the value and the location. Just because it's common to be asked for either one. So here's a fun uh, I would change this to a one half power. So dy dx, the same thing as y prime, f prime, so it's going to be 1 half, leave the inside the same, x cubed plus sine 6x to the negative 1 half times derivative of what's inside. You have to put parentheses around this because the inside of this has multiple terms. And if you don't, it's going to be wrong. I guarantee people are going to make mistakes like on a problem like this on a test. 3x squared plus derivative of sine is cosine. And then check this out. This has its own little baby chain rule. That's just for that term, just with the cosine 6x. That 6 does not multiply 3x squared. Okay? And it just came from that. Popped out of that. Okay, so we're going to rewrite it in a nice answer. I don't want negative exponents. The 1 half is going to be square roots again. Uh, <clears throat> I want numbers and things in front of trig. So uh, this is going to be 3x squared plus 6 cosine 6x over... 2 square root of x cubed plus sine 6x. That's that's the best answer right there. Okay? So I can see some people either just forgetting the you know the grouping symbols. I can see people forgetting the chain rule. I can see people thinking that the chain multiplies all of this. Okay, so be careful. All right.